Hi, I'm Dr. Sakib Mansoor, and uh, this is my channel, Learning Anatomy. I am presenting you with uh, a, a new topic, and uh, that too from the head and neck, and uh, particularly this is from head, and uh, that is the temporal region. So today's topic is temporal region, and uh, particularly emphasizing on the temporal fossa. So to, we will discuss in detail the anatomy of the temporal fossa. So temporal region is the lateral area of the scalp. This is the temporal fossa, you know, and this all is the temporal region over here. And we remember from my discussion on my uh, video lecture with you on the uh, scalp that uh, the extent of the scalp was from here to the supraorbital margin uh, to the superior knuckle lines and inferiorly to this zygomatic arch. So this part also overlaps this temporal region, temporal fossa with the scalp. So this is the lateral aspect of the scalp and uh, this shaded area, this is the temporal fossa, this all. You see, this is the temporal fossa. So the temporal region comprises of lateral area of the scalp and the deeper soft tissues which overlie the temporal fossa. So of course, the temporal fossa is an area lying above this zygomatic arch. So now uh, we will study the uh, boundaries of the zygomatic um, um, of this temporal fossa, boundaries of the temporal fossa. And uh, let's see and focus on uh, various aspects. So this is the, you know, this is a zygomatic arch. You studied it already um, in much detail uh, in my lecture on normal lateralis. You can see in my um, playlist or in my upload videos that this is for seven, uh, a very detailed discussion on the normal lateralis where this was a a zygomatic arch is formation. So this is a zygomatic arch, you recall, and the temporal lines, superior and inferior temporal lines. So like uh, the superior and infer inferior temporal lines, they arise from this uh, frontal bone. It's a zygomatic process, zygomatic process of the frontal bone, and they are superiorly and backwards and uh, go there, and the superior temporal arch fades away, uh, on this parietal bone and this inferior temporal line continues, inferior temporal line continues and it uh, gets uh, up to the supramiatal um, crest, supramestoid crest. This is the supramestoid crest. So right, these are the two temporal lines, superior temporal line and the inferior temporal lines. We start from this, our uh, zygomatic process of the frontal bone and uh, arch upward and uh, um, across the suture, the coronal suture, and the, they, they reach this parietal bone, and the superior temporal line fades away posteriorly, and the inferior temporal line goes up posteriorly downwards and reaches this supramestoid crest, right? And uh, this is the floor of the fossa, and uh, this is formed by these four bones, which you can identify over here. And I think they better identified even here. So this is the four bones. First of all, this is the uh, frontal bone. Uh, this is the greater wing of the sphenoid. And then this is the temporal bone. And this is the parietal bone. So these are the four bones. And uh, they contribute and meet at a point, which is the tedion. This, this is the Tedion already discussed in detail in the normal lateralis in the craniometry. So when we study craniometry, so this is a very, very important point, the tedion, because below it lies the anterior branch of the uh, middle meningeal artery along with the corresponding vein. And below, uh, still deeper to that is the um, uh, very important, uh, you know, sulcus, lateral sulcus of the brain. So this is the tedion importance, already mentioned in detail, and we're just uh, recapitulating for you the tedion uh, importance. So these uh, four bones meet here at tedion, and they form the floor. So this is the main portion of the floor contributed by this, uh, these four bones. 
So this is the floor and uh, here then the superiorly are the temporal lines, superior and inferior temporal line. And in front you, you see yourself, this is the frontal bone, of course the zygomatic process. And then this is the zygomatic bone itself, you can say it's a frontal process. And uh, on the lateral aspect, this is the zygomatic bone. On the lateral aspect, it is the zygomatic bone, which is you know formed by this zygomatic process of the temporal bone. This and this is the uh, temporal process of the zygomatic bone. So they complete the zygomatic arch. So this is the uh, lateral uh, boundary, and the medial boundary of this temporal fossa is formed by this structure, infratemporal crest. Here it lies the infratemporal crest. So obviously, this is infratemporal crest. Above that is the temporal fossa, and below that is the infratemporal fossa. So here you could see above the zygomatic arch is the temporal fossa, and below is the infratemporal fossa shown over here. And in this bone, the zygomatic arch and the ramus of the mandible, they are removed. Which are present, you can see zygomatic arch and the ramus of the mandible are present over here. And they are removed, particularly they are removed in this picture to show clearly the infratemporal crest, which is a medial boundary of the our temporal fossa. You see, and uh, the roof of the this temporal fossa is formed by the fascia, the temporal fascia, and the floor is mostly occupied by the temporalis muscle. Here it will be attached the temporalis muscle, which is a muscle of the mastication. It's a triangular in shape, and it will be discussed in detail with the muscles of the mastication, which is a separate topic. And uh, to the uh, to the this is zygomatic bone and its lower, uh, you know, surfaces attach the uh, masseter muscle. I'll show you a picture. Yes, over here. This you should see. This is a zygomatic arch, and uh, this is the temporalis muscle over here, uh, shown after the removal of the temporal fascia. This is the temporal fascia, which is attached to the like the superior temporal line this temporal fascia attached to the superior temporal line and uh, below that uh, the uh, temporal fascia here it is attached to the zygomatic arch here the temporal fascia splits into two layers and the medial uh, part of that lam uh, uh, lamina which is split the temporal fascia part medial part is attached to the medial aspect of the zygomatic medial surface of the zygomatic arch and the lateral uh, lamina is attached to the lateral surface of the, um, the zygomatic arch. So this is a point of the temporal fascia. It's a very tough fascia. And uh, this is the, uh, our masseter muscle. These are two powerful muscles. And you can feel their muscles contracting when uh, you clench your teeth. You clench your teeth and you feel the contraction. So this powerful muscle, masseter, when it contracts, it pulls and uh, this temporal fascia. So this is the fascia is tethered by uh, this uh, masseter muscle. So it offers resistance. This temporal fascia offers resistance to the power of the uh, masseter contraction. So that is it. You could see, and uh, here you see also identify this superficial temporal artery. I will enumerate for you in the end the contents of the um, temporal fossa. So this was few words about the uh, about this uh, boundaries and uh, let's revise boundaries again. So I told you anteriorly the frontal and the zygomatic bones, posteriorly and superior the temporal lines, superior and inferior temporal lines, lateral is the zygomatic arch and inferior is the infratemporal crest. Told you already in these two pictures is quite evident, right? told you already in detail, showed you what is anteriorly. This is the interior, this is the floor, and this is the lateral, and this is the above and posterior, superiorly and posteriorly. So this is the so temporal lines. So this is a point, I'm quickly going through that again and again. So inferiorly, I told you, is the infratemporal crest. Yes, this is inferiorly, medially, and laterally is the, uh, you know, uh, our zygomatic arch. 
तो दिस इज द पॉइंट फ्लोराइ टू डू फोर बोन फॉर्मिंग द चीरियन फ्रंटल टेम्पोरल प्राइटल एंड ग्रेटर विंग ऑफ द स्वीन एन यू कैन सी दिस इज दीरियन दिस इज फ्रंटल बोन दिस इज द प्राइटल बोन दिस इज द टेम्पोरल बोन एंड दिस इज द ग्रेटर विंग ऑफ द स्वीन मीट हियर बाय एन एच शेप फ्यूचर एट द Uh, the stereon on the lateral aspect of the skull, which is the part of the this temporal fossa, stereon, the craniometric point. Craniometric, you know, is the measurement of the skull, like bragma and such things, uh, stereon, and also the asterion. So these are all studied in craniometry of the skull. So then this, the, I told you already, the floor, and the, this is the uh, roof. This is right. So temporal fascia also give origin to this temporalis. So temporalis muscle takes origin from the bony floor and the overlying temporal fascia. So this is the point, and this is again you see the this temporalis muscle, and this is the our masseter muscle attached to the this inferior surface of this zygomatic arch. So can we are concerned today with the temporalis muscle present inside this? Uh, temporal fossa. This is the content, very important content of the temporal fossa, along with this temporal fascia, which covers it. So this is a uh, already told you uh, temporal fascia. It's uh, described you right. So this is the thing. Um, uh, so finally, in few words, uh, I have to mention the contents of. Fossa, the temporal fossa. What does it contains? The temporal fossa, temporalis muscle. The most important content is the temporalis muscle, which is a muscle of mastication, and you can feel it while you clench your teeth, for example, to identify that. And um, its nerve supply, you know, by the which nerve, which is see uh, all these muscles of mastication are supplied by the. Trigeminal nerve, the temporalis muscle is right by that, and uh, this is a deep temporal nerves present in this fossa. This by the temporalis muscle. So in the contents, we see temporalis muscle and the deep temporal nerves, which by the temporalis muscle. So a detailed account I'm telling you again and again uh, of all these muscles, temporalis, and then masseter, and the lateral pterygoid, and the medial pterygoid. Will be done in a separate topic with you. I will discuss when uh, the muscles of mastication. They help in mastication, chewing, food, and also in uh, articulation. So that is the point. Then is the middle temporal artery present in that fossa. Middle temporal artery. And then is the deep temporal artery in that fossa. Temporal fossa. And in the last, you can see zygomatico temporal nerve and the artery. Zygomatico temporal nerve. And the zygomatico temporal artery, or you can see always this is this zygomatico temporal uh, foramen in the anterior aspect of this fossa. <coughs> Somewhere over here, I showed you in the norma, literally, you can go back and you can see over here this aspect, right? The containing the, I showed you a picture over here, you can go to that uh, lecture, normal literally, so you can find the, uh, the this zygomatic official foramen uh, separate picture. So this was the discussion of the um, our uh, temporal fossa uh, with its all these contents: this temporalis, middle temporal artery, deep temporal artery, zygomatico temporal nerve, and artery, and the deep temporal nerves which supply the temporalis muscle. So that completes the, today's short discussion of the temporal fossa. And also uh, related with that fossa is the infratemporal fossa. And uh, that we'll discuss in a separate topic. And we know that temporal and infratemporal fossa communicate with each other via this gap. You know, this, this is a zygomatic arch. This is the lateral surface. There's a gap in between that. And this is the communication. The, uh, uh, this is the infratemporal crest which forms the, uh, you know, boundary line demarcation between that and below is the our infratemporal fossa. This is a temporal fossa and they communicate via these gap. And also present uh, in that aspect is the uh, pterygopalladine fossa, which also we'll discuss in a separate 
of it. Teddy go Palatine Fossa. I've already shown you its picture in some detail in the Norma literalist discussion. So with this I uh, end, I thank you very much for listening to this uh, topic and uh, from the next time uh, hopefully I will discuss with you the triangle which would be our uh, the, uh, this uh, triangle would be the anterior triangle of the neck. So till then goodbye, thank you very much, take care, stay safe and uh, stay home. That is the message for you.